Hi, this is Mark Delise, and what we have done is that we have created this end video clip, and it's very powerful. And so what I've uploaded it to YouTube, you should know how to do that. I've created a title for it, a description, and now we're going to add annotations around different parts of this video clip. And so all you need to do is come down here and click on annotations. And this screen opens up and you can see that, that what it is. It's like a timeline on the bottom. And this is where you have different tracks and so forth. And so what we're going to do, we're going to add some, some tracks, some annotations. And there's five different kinds. There's speech bubble, note, title, spotlight. You can play around with them and see what kind that you like. Uh, they do different things, but also similar things. And here you can edit existing annotations right here. So for our purposes, I'm going to start off by a spotlight. And this little box appears here. And for text of the spotlight, I'm going to put click here, all right, which is this text down here. So it adds a spotlight area also with some text underneath. And I'm going to move this spotlight over this video right here. And you can resize it so it fits perfectly like this box here. Now the click here, I can move to the middle of this video right there. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, OK? Right there. And you can change the, um, the size of the click here. It's going to be 16. And because the background is black, I'm going to change the text to white, all right? So that's the first one. And once you're, once you're done, you need to remember to come back here and save it. You also got to remember here that this is the um, first annotation. It added it to the timeline, but you'll see that it only plays for the first around five seconds. So I want to stretch it out so that it plays to the end of the video. It's actually This is actually a 17 uh, second video. And I'm going to save it once more to save the... The next thing that we need to do is add a link. When people click on this annotation, it's going to go to a different video. So which video am I going to use? Well, here's all my YouTube videos. It has to be a YouTube video. So I'm going to use, for example, um, uh, let's see here. How about this one right here? This is a video right here. So I'm going to take this video and I'm going to come up here. Hi, this is Mark Delise and I have a... I'm going to copy, upgrade. I'm going to copy the URL of that video. And I want to make sure that the annotation is highlighted with my mouse. I'm going to come down here and click on link and you see it says video, playlist, channel, subscribe. So I'm going to click on the video and I'm going to click on paste that URL right there. Okay. It's going to open up in a new window or it's going to be in the same win uh, browser window. Once you're done with that, you can once again click on save. And if you want to see what it looks like, I'll click on publish. And now let me go to that video. See this? So if I, if I hover over it, it says click here. See that? So if I click there, it's going to go to that other video. See that? Isn't that cool? So all you need to do is do that to every one of the different buttons. And I will put, here's the text of it. And I will put in really big text, I will put check out my channel. And this is going to be in big text. I'm going to put it at uh, 16 or maybe even 28 and it's going to be a white text just like that and I'm going to put it so it's real big check out my channel it's like this and what I'm going to do I'm going to move this just over here because I know that uh, usually the URL appears right below the annotation and I'll just say check out my channel and that's all and so I will save it and I will publish and now if I click on refresh You'll see here, there's a video, click here, and Mark Elise, check out my channel. See that? Okay. And that's it. There. See that? Now you can see these little lines around here. I believe if I turn that to black, these black lines, if I hover over that, and I think there's a black line right here. So black, there it is right there. And change that to black, and I will save publish and I will hover over yeah that looks better see that now if I hover over subscribe that looks a lot better and so what you can do is you can if you're doing video work for offline clients present this opportunity it's more work that you can build them for 
uh, for their video marketing and make their YouTube channels very, very powerful so that at the end of every video, it gives users the ability to take further actions to stay on your channels, to stay on your video, you get more views, you get more traffic to your websites, you can put a big domain name at the very top, this brands you, and so forth. So again, this is very powerful, it's very real. Some of the biggest brands of in internet marketing are doing this, and you should do it too.